Well, g'day people. This is an introduction to TradingView and Fibonacci toolset um, and basically focused on cryptocurrency. So let's begin with opening a chart um, just to show you that you can click on markets and you have these cryptocurrency options and you can play with that as you like. But for now, I'll go straight into a chart by clicking on the top left. This defaults to Bitcoin because I had it open before. How you get your charts of cryptocurrency is just basically clicking on the middle and typing the abbreviation. You can see here we have Ethereum, Bitcoin. If it's XRP, just click on XRP and it will show you the, the tool set. You can click on cryptocurrency filter and then you can pretty much find all the abbreviations for XRP and you can see the list of exchanges. I will be picking Bitcoin, BTC. Now I can click type in USD, which is more specific. If I put the T for Tether, you can see how I get the other list. I'm going to select Binance Exchange and we're going to get the chart for Bitcoin on that exchange. By default, we get this volume I'm not interested in. Let's just click away that or we'll acknowledge that ad. Click away that. If I right click here, I have the settings. I can get rid of some of the settings that I don't want. Just clean it up. I have some grid. You can see there's plain grids. I can select. I'm showing you something more than I'm supposed to, but just the appearance. I want a nice white background. No grids. Select white just to make it clearer. So now we have no grids on the screen. And we can choose different candlesticks of your choice. We'll stick into the green and red. Now we're going to select Fibonacci. <clears throat> this is 2021, so we can see the price section of Bitcoin for a nice uptrend. Here's the Fibonacci tool. In there, there will be a bunch of different Fibonacci tool sets. Sweet. I am looking for this one here, Fibonacci retracement. I am going to click on the favorite so it will be part of my favorite tool set and now I'll click on that I can wherever I go on the screen if I click I'm going to click on the bottom reference here the bottom of the, the trend hold the mouse down and then drag it up and find my reference point to the top and let go there you go so I've used the bottom as zero reference and the top as one. And you can adjust it as you want. If I click on this, you can see the properties. I can select the configuration as I want. If I want the values to be on the left, if I don't want to see the pricing and so on. <coughs> you can see that price start this really this trend from here went all the way up did a pullback to the 0.5 Fibonacci level so that for those who are new to Fibonacci 0 0.382 0 0.5 and 0 0.618 are the most popular levels to watch out for so you can see the price has dropped to the 0.5 Fibonacci done a double bottom and up it goes how I represent this as a trader or presenting my information, I'll click on this drawing suite of straight lines. I can see I'll connect all the tops and I can say that, that there's a, a straight line, trend line, where that was acting as resistance. This is the inverted bar or bump and bar, bump and run configuration, or you can say it's a an ascending triangle. Let's select the, the lines a bit thicker 
So, so for my own reference, I can see what action took place. That was a nice triangle. You can also argue that this could have been a wedge as well. Okay, using the body of the candlesticks. It doesn't matter. The whole point is, it is a bullish continuation pattern. So if I was to represent that to myself or others, they understand what I'm thinking. 0.5 is a nice entry. I can grab, the, grab that drawing line. I can say double bottom just to make it clear for others what I'm thinking. Now, going back to Fibonacci, the next impulse, I can select the bottom at that point all the way to the top. And you can see, again, 0.5. What I can do with this, I can select the setting. Hold on, let me go back. Select the setting, and I can get rid of the background and just have the lines so it doesn't interfere with my next level. So now we have price action that's gone all the way up. Pull back to the 0.5 Fibonacci. We have a few weeks and it's a good entrance point for the continuation. So this is how we use Fibonacci to understand where price is coming and going. And when the last one we can do here, select the bottom, select the top. And similarly, we're on the 0.5. So it's a good area. And you can see why people, why prices Touch this area, a week there, a week there, and a week there. <coughs> and one would expect that there is some support here. And similarly here. Now you can see how I adjusted this to fit my needs. So what makes sense? Sometimes you need to adjust. Okay. Now this might make sense over here. So that might be my reference point, not down there. So I'll be using this because now this level looks like resistance. If I do it like that, you can see it's more prevalent. So sometimes you need to adjust to get the right outcome. So I would say that is the right outcome. Move that slightly up. I'm happy with that. Okay. So that's um, using Fibonacci on the uptrend, okay? Alternatively, there's another school of thought. It's the opposite. Select the top as zero and the bottom as one. Whatever you do, you gotta be consistent. So this is my preference. This is the way I've learned it. I use zero at the top and the pullback because this is an extension and this is a retracement. So I'm more interested in the retracement as to the level of the retracement. And if you look at the tool, it says Fibonacci retracement. So this is how we use it. There is other, the other, the, the first one I showed you, but there is people that use that as well. But I prefer to use it this way. Top as zero, reference point to the one, the retracement comes down and then up and goes. So it's the point five. Okay. Just something to make it more understandable. Let's click on the indicators. I'm going to type, touch, uh, type in moving average. I select that one there. I'm going to make it a favorite. Click once, I get one entry. Click twice, I get another entry over here. So I got two. I clicked on twice, I get two Fibonacci levels. I'm going to click on the settings. I'm going to select 10 and the style. Make a thick line. The second Fibonacci, I mean, moving average. I'm going to make a black and I'm going to enter the 20. So the 10 and 20 is a popular range, which we use to find the trend and change in trend. And with a method of, or a strategy, you can use 
the combination of Fibonacci and moving averages to find a good spot to enter. That is a trading strategy that we'll cover in the next tutorial. So this is Fibonacci on the uptrend. Now let's do Fibonacci on the downtrend. Here we have Fibonacci on the downtrend. As we, as we have this moving average crossing the other, signifying changing trend on the daily. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So with that assumption, we're going to measure. Try, uh, we're going to use Fibonacci for a down trade or shorting. Click on the Fibonacci tool set. <coughs> I select the bottom from, so far we've got the top there to there, and we're getting some bounce. So I would like to know when to, while it's bouncing, I'd like to know where is my entrance. So I select the bottom as zero, two on. This is the way I do it. I just move the prices to the right. Or the, uh, the labels to the right so I can clear, clearly see it. So price drops to this point, it hits the 0.5 Fibonacci level. That is an area of interest purely because we have other things in confluence, which is here. We have support and we have resistance. If you move it across, even better. So this level. Of support and resistance has confluence with this Fibonacci, therefore I was short there, and the results would have been good. Okay, so that is a short. How we represent short? I'll just quickly click on this tool. We have long positions and short positions. Short positions are represented by this way. The top is my stop loss, and the bottom is my target. The long representation is entry there my stop loss will be a certain level and my target will be a certain level we use these tools to communicate to others what our intentions are on the trade okay so that's it for now uh, basically introduction to trading view and fibonacci thank you